Number five is a common sense approach to the law of God. And, and that is basically, you're going to have, a lot of times, the reason we don't keep the law is lack of conviction. People are talked out of their conviction. You know, it's like that little, you know, the story of the parable where, you know, people are, they go to their preacher. Or, you know, that's, that's the case in many times. They go to their preacher. In fact, I'll give you an example of this. We used to have a guy that worked with us, and he, he, would, he, would, he knew I didn't eat pork. And he said, David, I feel guilty. Every time I come to, to work with you, I got a pork sandwich. It's pork on Monday, pork on Tuesday, pork on Wednesday, pork on Friday. He said, I'm just feeling guilty. I'm going to quit eating this stuff. Well, he joined a church, and guess what happened? The church told him, ain't a thing wrong with eating pork. It's good for you. And so it never bothered him anymore. You know, people are talked out of their convictions. You know, it happens all the time. Romans 2 and verse 14, For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do my natures, the things contained in the law, having a law, having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Yeah, when you got that natural conviction, it's like a law to you, which show the works of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, meanwhile, accusing or excusing one another. So this one's a very uh, serious issue that we have to deal with in the churches of God, and that is, you know, there's really nothing you can do about it when you try to share something and then someone else comes along and talks them out of their conviction. You can share truth, but you cannot create conviction. That's God's job to create conviction. But in our society, with, with the churches of God, the belief systems that we have of Sabbath keeping, holy day keeping, the dietary laws, you got to realize that the world, for the most part, is against you. They're going to be teaching and, and, and the exact opposite. They're going to be telling the preachers and friends and relatives are going to say, nope, you don't have to keep Sabbath. Nope, you don't have to keep dietary laws. Nope, you don't have to keep those holy days. Uh, all that's been abolished, fulfilled, done away with. We can prove it here. We'll go to church and we'll listen to the preacher talk about how the law has been fulfilled, been nailed to the cross, all that. So you really are up against something big here, you know. Uh, uh, the prince of evil is what you're up against, you know, uh, who loves his religion. He just don't want God's people doing what they should be doing, okay. But he's a very religious being, uh, Beelzebub, that is. Uh, he wants you to worship God. He just wants you to worship God the wrong way. Okay, that, that's what he's all about. Okay, hi, Brother Dave. Can you do a video explaining... Why we should keep the dietary laws and his feasts, not just the Ten Commandments. Okay, many Christians do think they think the Ten Commandments, uh, minus the Sabbath, of course. I believe most Christians believe in the Ten Commandments, except one. Okay. And I, I sort of agree with that. You know, if you were to ask most Christians, do you believe it's all right to kill? Do you believe it's all right to steal? Do you believe it's all right to cheat on your wife? They would all say, no, that's a sin. And, and maybe eventually we'll get to the point where all these things will be justified. You know, we'll, we, we'll, we'll make light of all, even them. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.